Hello and welcome to another episode of Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV. With me, Adam Mani Angora. In this program, we try to introduce you to new menus. Or sometimes we bring local dishes. But of course, we try to add our innovative way of cooking. And also, we sometimes try to jump to internationally recognized menus. In today's episode, I am going to show you how to prepare a simple breakfast of a fried tilapia fish and also a kind of special pancake. But before we start, let us go for a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. So, the ingredients we need today for our simple breakfast are going to be as follows. We have fish, some olive oil, some vegetable oil, a banana, a medium desiccated coconut, and also we have something that I call three spices, which compose of cloves, cardamom, and some black pepper. We are also going to make use of egg, salt, seasoning, and oatmeal. We also need garlic, a powdered cinnamon, vegetable, which in this case we are going to use ugu, and also some tomato puree, which compose of some amount of onions, uh, some amount of pepper and chili. So let's get started. First of all, we are going to salt our fish like this. But before salting it, I will try and do one thing, which is to remove the fins or the spikes, whatever you call them. I will use my scissors to cut them off the fish. This helps to prevent you from getting some injuries from this uh, kind of spikes because they are really, really strong. So we try our very best to remove them all. They're very, very strong. Perhaps due to the size of the fish and also due to the fact that this is not that fish that they call agric fish. It's a fresh fish gotten from a pond. It's natural tilapia fish. Let me use a knife and see if it can help me to fasten the process. Okay. Ah. Yes, I'm also going to cut off the tail. Yes, finally. Now, I'm going to cut the fish, actually not cut, just to make some uh, marks here, like this. And then I'm going to use my salt and try as much as possible to use the salt to a test so that it doesn't uh, become over salted right? and also at this point I'll bring my uh, three spices and then try to apply them to the fish
So at this point, I will now go ahead and add, um, first of all, I start my fire. And then allow my pan to heat up and then I'll put some oil in it. So this fish, we are going to fry it to a golden brown color. In this situation, we do not need to use much oil. So it's not going to be a deep fried fish. I'll now go ahead and add the oil into the pan. And then wait for it to become hot. So as I do this, I'll now come to this side and bring my bowl and then I bring this bowl again, and then I remove two bananas. Perhaps I use three because the size of the banana looks somehow small. So I'm needing now three pieces of banana. Okay, so my oil is getting hot and then we'll be checking the temperature. Yes, almost ready. So what I need here to do is to mash my bananas. So I have now mashed the banana and then I come back to my oil and see, yeah, our oil is now ready. You can see when I put, when I put the bamboo stick, it produces bubbles, meaning that the temperature is ready and perfect for placing our fish. To add some salt, into the pan you know the reason why i added this salt is because when i put my fish i don't want the skin to stick to the pan so adding salt helps in achieving this result as i do that i'll come here and break two eggs and then whisk the egg and then go back here to be checking my fish And then do not forget to put it on a low heat. Okay. So because at this point I need a very, very low heat, I'm changing the burner and I'm bringing it to a smaller burner so that we get much 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 low heat and then I am going to add my 
banana into the egg bowl and then mix them together. And then come back to you, continue to check on my fish. Ultimately, what we want to achieve is the fried fish with that touch of golden brown color. However, when you try to make it at home, please do put the salt first in order to prevent the skin from getting off the fish. So with this, I am now going to add some amount of medium desiccated coconut and then mix it you can add the quantity as desired Also, can always try to shake the oil we'll allow the fish to continue to fry until we reach um, that golden brown color and then we turn it to the other side while I do this I'm going to go ahead and add the oatmeal and in this situation I'm going to use about four spoons of oatmeal and then I'll mix it all together And then I'll check my fish again. So you can see, now we are getting there. The color is turning slowly into golden brown. Of course, um, with the skin having uh, gotten off the fish, because of that step that I mentioned uh, earlier on. So continue to shake it. So as you can see, our fish is getting ready, almost done. And the objective we wanted to achieve here is to get this uh, kind of golden brown color. And then, you know, it all depends on people's preference. Some people would like to serve their fish as smooth as it looks 
while frying. Some would like to just make it a bit rough or scrambled or something like that. So in my situation, I actually prefer to get it disintegrated and then serve it and then keep while I, pre while I prepare the um, remaining part of the menu. So at this point, my fish is looking well done. So what I'll do is I will split the head and take it separate from the entire body and then I will now gently place it on the pan and then I will now dissect the remaining of the body and perhaps to remove the flesh part of the fish and then serve it, uh, serve it by the side of the head. So as you can see, it is already getting scrambled and uh, looking absolutely fine. So now the other part of the fish, I will try to remove the uh, spikes and then get off the flesh and then place it on my plate. You can see the golden brown color is looking absolutely stunning. So with this I put aside the pan and then I put this pan on fire and then place my fish by the side and then get it heated. So I will get some amount of the olive oil and then put it on the pan and then spread it with my brush. And then allow the pan to continue to heat up. So um, while I am giving it this kind of heat, let us go for a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. In case you are just joining the program, we are making a fried uh, tilapia fish to be served with some veggies and um, what we call a kind of special pancake. So, and of course, I'm very sure that if you are just joining, you have missed a lot, but you'll be able to catch up. So at this point now, my pan with the olive oil has gotten really hot. So I bring my mixture and then pour it over the pan. And then I will now gently spread it over. Spread it over. So I will now spread it and get a kind of round shape and then cover it, cover the pan and allow it to cook for some time before we turn it over. And then I'll check the pancake now, see if it is good for getting toned. So, as you can see, it's getting well done. And then I'll just turn it over and then cover it again for kind of a few seconds. So I'll now bring this close to me and uh, prepare a space over here to drop our pancake. 
it's looking really amazing and it smells absolutely awesome. I just wish that we can transfer the, uh, the, the, the smell into the camera, the aroma, you know, the fragrance. It's just something really, really amazing. Uh, so, great so so awesome so we take it now out and place it by the fish and then i'll put it back now what i'll do is to add some oil and then Add a pinch of salt, a pinch of seasoning, a pinch of my three spices. Let me put it here and then cover it with this. Get it covered. So now I will add some amount of the puree, not that much, <coughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is to bring close my cinnamon powder and then I'll now sprinkle it over no. I'll now sprinkle it over the pancake Then you can now fold it and then add my veggies here. So, you can see the vegetable is getting perfectly ready. So, we don't want to overcook the veggies. And then at this point, I will now go ahead and serve it by the side of the fish and the pancake so with this simple and stunning breakfast of pancake fried tilapia fish and vegetable by the side we bring an end to today's episode it is my hope that you found it really really useful and you'll continue to watch us learn and practice on behalf of myself adam mani angora detros tv and adam's kitchen i say bye for now <laughs>